I don't think that's a good sign. What's up and good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. As you can see by the window next to me, we have finally, well, probably not finally, I mean, We've got some rain. I don't know why I'm saying finally. I don't want rain. Um, but the last time I wanted to take the Mercedes out, it actually rained in the morning. But by the time we got the Mercedes out into some dirt, it had already dried up. So I'm hoping today, being that it is still currently raining, uh, we're going to have some fun with the Mercedes, possibly in some mud. We're going to run to Pet Boys right now, though, because we need some windshield wipers for that thing, because uh, the ones that are on there are like flopping off and suck. And I want to be able to see where I'm going. Let's see if today's Pet Boys experience is a little better than the last time we were here. See, this thing goes all the way back to 1982. That don't look right. Well, as expected, service was exactly the same. Um, I think they all hide in the back for some weird reason and nobody comes out to the checkout counters. I've got what I hope is the correct wipers. Uh, the 1982 kind of predates their book and then I searched online a little bit and found what I think is right. So we're gonna find out when we get to the warehouse right now. Clearly the uh, Mercedes is just becoming a, a storage spot. I really like to tuck the wipers down in there. Uh, where are you at, Booger? There you are. There we go. All right, now that we've got them on, let's do a test. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, it, if you're tall, it kind of puts this right in your eye line or eyesight, but. There we go. First things first, we're gonna make a stop for some diesel because I haven't filled this thing up since I owned it. Pretty sure I bought it with about a half a tank, so you know, I mean, you really can't beat the efficiency of a diesel. Ooh, look at that. Metal cap right there. Don't see those no more. See what we're dealing with. $4 a gallon for diesel, $4.28 for uh, the 91. And I've actually seen it much higher in other areas around here. And out of curiosity, because it always makes me jealous, let me know down in the comments what diesel is where you guys are at. I also have no clue how big this tank is. Nor do I really want to fill it all the way up in case it dies. I don't want to give away half a tank of diesel. Well, I had to run inside real quick to get something and uh, I guess we let it fill up all the way. It's a pretty big tank for this thing. Oh, what's up, buddy? What is the plan for today? I, I don't really have a plan for today other than uh, I found a nice off-road area for a beautiful Mercedes-Benz who uh, I should probably close the back door before we go any further. Where's Dave? I thought it would be a little... Uh... You thought Dave was going to be here? Yeah. It's funny because I just got off the phone with Dave too who didn't answer his phone when I called him this morning. So Dave's not here. He's missing out. He is going to miss out. It's funny because he just was a little upset when I was like, oh, my buddy's pulling up. He's like, wait, you got, you got another buddy that's going there without me? I'm like, well, I tried you, buddy. I had something for Dave and you. Did you? Yeah. Hey, what? Dude, that's badass. Now I'm waiting on some different materials so I can. Nice, dude. Well, thank you. Yeah. Dude, Dave's gonna be stoked. Well, shoot, dude. What are we? Are we gonna jump this thing today? Are we gonna jump it? Come on, it's all it's all dirty already from the rain. We'll see how I feel up there. All right. All right. Well, let's go. So we've got the regular road to the side of me over here. You can't really see it because there's obviously bushes in the way. And then we got this sweet fire road right here that we can mob down. Wes is coming up behind us. I'm telling you guys, this car is so much fun. Oh, get a little rutted. A little rutted. Oh, we got it. We got it. What do you think, dude? We got a jump right here. You down? <laughs> I mean, your tires are wider than the, the big cut in here, but... I think you can pull it off in the... Uh, Woo! Dude, that's steep. Oh, God. That's a, that's a high center and a half right there. We, we definitely need bigger tires and a lift kit to get some ground clearance. I mean, your truck will make it just fine, Wes. I don't know what you're worried about. I don't think Wes was actually gonna do it. It is super steep. I know it doesn't show up on camera, but the side I'm coming up right now is pretty, uh, not that steep. And then the drop off on the backside here is pretty steep. And I'm pretty sure his truck is wider than that cut right there, but hey, Wes actually uses his truck, so props to him. 
Oh, two wheel drive, two wheel drive. Keep coming, you're clear on that side still. Oh, look at that. No problem. Hold on, you gotta, there you, there you go. Yeah, he, he was coming with you there. There, so in case you guys don't, you know, don't think I'm lying about this, this clay, that's my shoe from walking for like a minute right there. All right, that hill is a lot steeper than I thought. Well, let's see if the Mercedes makes it up. I'm gonna go set the camera up. Let's go follow some of these trails around here. It's bouncy, very bouncy. Oh shit. Wes ain't gonna like this. Now the good thing about being in a small vehicle is I can make little tight turns like this. Whereas uh, Wes might be in trouble back there in his big old truck. I'm telling you guys, this thing just continues to amaze me how well it climbs these hills. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck now that I said it. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, we got it. I don't think that's a good sign. Ooh, you, you should probably just pull the tip off. There we go. <laughs> Quick release. So the throttle pedal is now like all jammed up in here. This is not a really good spot to do it in either. Oh yeah, we clear. <clears throat> well, that doesn't look too good. That used to be on there. It went to there. It's but, all dry but then it broke, so they you already knew it was broke. Yeah, that's been broken. Maybe it's just coming out of the overflow. I hope so. It's pouring a lot out though. My bigger concern is the throttle cable. So yeah, press. What happens when you press that? It's like, watch, press it. All right, well, I guess I'll press it from this side. It's like super stiff. It doesn't return like it used to. We might have killed it, guys. Think I can still return these? Uh, Wiper Blazer just bought it, Pet Boys. <laughs> yeah, so the throttle is like stuck pinned. Gotcha. But it's weird because it should be backed all the way off right there. Yeah, I think we're good on fluid. It's just the fact that like the throttle's pinned full time really makes me not want to drive it or start it or let it run and blow itself up. All right, let's try this again. See if she goes straight to pinned. <laughs> There we go. Through here, it gets like caught. See how it's like stuck right. there? So then, 
Well, if it gets Tom behind there. All right, I'm gonna drive it up to the top of the hill here. We'll see if we break the throttle. Oh, look at this. Uh oh. I think we cracked the reservoir. Yeah, that looks like an issue. All right, guys. Well, you know, uh, emergency situation calls for. We just got to go for it. We'll worry about getting it home when we get up the top of the hill. Hopefully, I can break the throttle free over here because um, it just stays like it's super stiff right now. The linkages are all like binding up, and it uh, stays pinned sometimes. And that's no fun. Let's see what happens. So far, so good. I'm getting like no throttle. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now I got no throttle, no transmission. Yeah, I think we I think we toasted the transmission. Hey buddy, get your tow rope! Then you brought your billet 4x4 tow hook. So we do have another problem. Wes is low on fuel and when he was up on that hill over there, his truck just shut off because uh, I guess so much fuel went away from the, the fill or whatever, the siphon. Um, so we're hoping Wes doesn't, uh, Wes doesn't run out of fuel either. But what could go wrong, buddy? You know? We gotta tell trust, me about- I trust the old Chevy. The tell old me about 15 wrong. miles back to the uh, warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> Mercedes, they said. Be the lap of luxury. I knew these things were always going to be in the shop. Uh oh. So, uh, you know, everybody and their mom has a trailer until the day you need a trailer. We've called everybody down our phone list so far trying to find a trailer. Uh, Wes is on the phone right now with U Haul to see if we can just get one of those car dollies. I don't want to, you know, if we were a little bit closer, I'd say like, screw it, let's just tow it home this way. But we got to go uh, at least two different freeways and a lot of surface streets that I don't feel like, you know, cruising this way. And then I don't want to have the car running. I don't have power steering. So we're going to uh, figure out a way to tow it out here. I don't have AAA, which apparently I should probably get. Wheezy, where are you at, buddy? I need AAA. I don't know what I'm more mad about, the fact that the, the Mercedes is kind of dead right now or that the beautiful carpet is trash. Wes just flagged down a car hauler. All right, sweet. Well, we found a, uh, I guess we found a tow truck for 50 bucks. All right, so I just bent some of these like 400 linkages back and uh, it might actually be working now if we can get the hood closed. Wes, uh, can you assist me on that one there, buddy? Go ahead. There you go. Easy. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it just went into gear. So let's see how far we get down this road. Giving it throttle, and that's all we got. Like that, that's a bad idea. I don't think we're gonna. Make, it's good to know the tranny's still good though. Wait, reverse. Reverse works. Oh, it looks like he came back. Hopefully, we get towed out of here. Oh, he's just going for it. <laughs> right. I thought he was gonna be like, yeah, get it on the flat ground and screw it. <sighs> so sad. Look at that Dave, are you jealous, Dave? This guy's got two winches on his truck, probably three up top. <laughs> he has a fascination for the winches. Well, Dave's been wanting a winch for years, but his wife will never buy him one. Well, Wes, uh, I think we need a little moment of silence. Or should I say a few words? You know, it was only a short time that I had gotten to know the Mercedes-Benz, but it was a wonderful short time. You know, sometimes you just meet somebody and you know that you are bound to be good friends, lovers, mates. Um, and sometimes people get taken too, uh, too quickly from life. 
I wish I had more time with her. I wish we were friends for a little bit longer, but you know, it was a heck of a run while it lasted. And I want to thank her for all the good times that we had together. We I hope it doesn't end up looking like that very soon, but it probably will. It's the slowest truck driver in the world. He did tell Wes, like, make sure you're, uh, you drive slow. I, I drive slow. Like, yeah, dude, I don't think we can legally go that slow on the freeway, buddy. What are we doing, 45 over there? 45. And we're smoking the freaking tow truck? God, that guy's way back there. All right, well, we finally, finally made it back. We got the uh, tow truck here with the Mercedes. Feels good sitting in there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Mercedes is nice. It was nice watching so much smiling here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And look who showed up just in time to help us push it in the shop. All right, boys, let's make sure she's not leaking any more oil. I see a little spot right there. Let's see, a little crushed oil pan, never hurt nobody. It was going good, too. Yeah. You hit the jump like four times. Yeah, see, it was Wes's fault for making me jump it so many times. No, you did it once, and I was like, yo, we got to get that on camera a better angle, you know, and I don't know, what, three later, and uh, <laughs> she didn't want to play no more. Hey Ryan, take your truck off roading. It'll be fun, you know. Why don't you beat your truck up? Well, I mean, you see what happens. You got, you got the coil over here, man. Take your shit off, jump it. You gonna take your truck take off road? Off yeah, you you got more off road. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll take mine off road when you take yours off road. I've already taken mine off road. No, you haven't. All right, let's go. I'll go right back to the you same. You took spot. yours in the snow, but it was still on the road. No, it wasn't. We went off road. We went off the beaten path. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a, I got a broken Mercedes, a dirty Mercedes, and my shoes are shot. All right, boys, I'll push it. I'll push it. Somebody's got to steer. Now this hybrid is really quiet. So the last time Wes had his truck here, he asked all of you guys whether or not he should black it out or keep some of the chrome, and it was like as 50-50 as it gets on whether or not he should do it. Wes, have you decided yet? Yeah, I think we'll just get a new truck. And then, uh, <laughs> that way we don't have that, that issue. All right, there you go, well that works. No, I think I'm gonna go with like partial, partial color matching. Um, eventually I do wanna get rid of the steps, so that'll kinda take away the uh, that part. The, I think I'm gonna remove this molding, leave the, uh, do the tow mirrors and the window trim in black along with most of the front end and leave just the high country badging and the door handles chrome. Gotcha. So. I don't think I realized how long that Bilstein shock was. was. Looking at that Holy crap, shit. dude. Yeah, that's the that's the cheapest way to do the uh, the Cognito 10 inch lift is their their uh, monotube 5100 uh, adjustable strut. Gotcha. So you see the notches here. You can adjust, basically preload the spring to get as more lift out of it. You can get 10 to 12 inches in four uh, four different positions. Nice. So, well guys, with the death of the Mercedes, at least I still got the old 7.3 here running strong. And for those of you guys that have been waiting for an update on the lift kit, uh, so am I. <laughs> it hasn't shown up yet, so all the shocks and everything's there, but everything from Skyjacker, I believe, is what we're still waiting for. So hopefully that shows up in the next couple of days and we can get this thing up in the air. I still have not picked a wheel and tire yet, so hopefully I can make my mind up on that as well. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching the channel. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content and see if, uh, you know, see if we replace the Mercedes with something else. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. If the hats are not already restocked by the time this video goes live, um, they will be restocked very, very soon. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering when we're gonna get uh, all of our Work Forward hats in stock. Uh, they have actually shipped out the day I'm making this video. So hopefully by the time this video goes live, we have hats in stock. But yeah, you guys are the best. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.